Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the Mosul culture, where they believe in a matriarchy and walking marriage is a common practice. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. I thought the documentary on the Mosul people was very interesting. I'll leave a link in the description box below of the doc, doc, documentary if you so want to view it for yourself. Their culture has established a matriarchal society as I've explained before, and it works for them. Despite their spokesperson relenting that she doesn't know how long their culture can go on for, with the now overwhelming tourist population putting a wrench into their future. Understanding the impact that these tourists have on the Mozu people living there, I started to wonder a few things. Why are matriarchal societies not commonplace? And what ultimately leads to a patriarchy society being established? What is interesting about the walking marriage is it's a general liking towards the other person, though the woman has the final say if she wants the man to see her. This was the first time I've heard of this practice, as it's quite different than our traditional view of marriage that many of us are familiar with. I would imagine that this would seem a bit taboo in our society, as we aren't really accustomed to it. However, for them, it's a normal way of life, and there's no harm in it. The Mizzou people have a female stronger than male outlook which again is against the patriarchal society that the vast majority of cultures around the world adhere to and that the Mizzou find this amusing. Pardon me, I got an itch. During the conversation with Chachu and Zhao, it was interesting seeing the reaction from Zhao, Zhao being from mainland China and Chu, Chu Chu Chao being from the Mizzou tribe, or the Mizzou people rather. Many of us grew up in a patriarchal society, so when we come into contact with someone who was raised in a matriarchal society, we are taken aback. I would imagine that the Mizzou would see that their method of societal leadership is much more beneficial to society as a whole compared to our patriarchal method. Could this mean that one societal structure is better than the other? Or should they be conjoined into one byproduct to increase society's effectiveness? The wisdom of Cha Chu is refreshing considering that in her culture the females have dominance over males. This idea challenges our socially accepted norm of patriarchal societies that men have dominance over women. Thus, debunking the myth that this practice is universal, as the Mizzou have shown us. Both the young and old Mizzou people are jubilant and ecstatic about life. Even though their societal system may be different than ours, the end result of a positive and enjoyable way of life is certainly something to take into consideration. Thank you for watching, and have a pleasant day.